have got a whole line of guests up here for our Christmas special. If you want to get in touch with us, you can find us on YouTube and you can find us on Twitter and on Instagram and everywhere else. Just type in Sunny and Shay. We still have with us on our lovely stage, Naughty Boy. <laughs> And we've got a fantastic live audience. Now we're delighted to welcome onto the stage future Bollywood star. She's the star right now of The Anyways Essex. She's come all the way from TOWIE just for you. It is Jasmine Walia. Hello. Hello. You all right? Do I get two? <laughs> how are you, princess? You all right? Good, how are you? Good. Your camera is so small. Oh, my God, have a seat, have a seat. I'm telling you, man, she is really that small in real life. <laughs> she is very <laughs> tiny. Yeah, yeah. Jasmine, it's such a pleasure to have you here on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. Um, now, there's a lot to talk to you about, but firstly, what are you going to be doing for Christmas with the family? I normally spend Christmas with just my mum, dad and my brother. So we just have Christmas Day together, eat loads, and then we go down and meet all our family and friends. You and just have a good loads. time. You yeah. Where do you put it? I don't know, but I have McDonald's, KFC, everything. So here's the thing. Um, now, recently, I saw mm. your Instagram, right? And you've been releasing a calendar. Yeah. Is this for the next year, I take it? Yeah, this is... So how long does it take you to get ready for a calendar like that? Um, well, basically, I shot my calendar in Spain. Right. So I had a makeup artist and hair, and all they did was just um, two hours to get ready, and then I just kept changing my bikinis or whatever I did, so it wasn't they, too they bad. Look amazing. They, you thank do. You. So your, your pictures came out real nice, and you know the calendar's really nice as well. But here's the thing: when you go and see yourself on the, you know, when you go into the high street and you actually do see stuff like your calendar or your picture or in the magazine, how does that feel? Amazing. It's really? a really good feeling. Yeah. What about some of the lies that they tell you in the tabloids? And stuff? I mean, yeah, you, I think you kind of expect that. Like, when you're in this industry, you expect, like, the tabloids to sometimes make stuff about you or exaggerate everything, which mm. is what they kind of do. And you just got to chill out about it and just not take life too seriously. Naughty boy, you're nodding away there. Do you, do you agree with what um, Jasmine's <laughs> saying? Do you, oh, sorry. I mean, how, did, how was it for you the first time that you saw your picture in the papers? Um, was it quite exciting or did you feel really nervous about no, it? No, I do see my picture and I, I enjoy it. I don't... I never liked the picture, but... Yeah, <laughs> like, they're the worst pictures ever. I mean, it's, it's more the, the context of, like, sometimes they call me a rapper in, like, the... Not the tabloids. What's the one above the tabloids? <laughs> Paparazzi? No, the... Please? No, the... Oh, uh, so, uh, what's like, it called? The Times and all of Yeah, I don't want to name any. Yeah. The, <laughs> the broad newspapers. The, newspapers. the newspapers. Yeah, and uh, I think there was one article once, because I went for... I went for lunch with um, Nigella Lawson and right. uh, Jemima Khan, who I'm, I'm friends with Jemima, but wow. there was a picture of us on the, on the table. It was the Chilton Firehouse, you know? Oh, right, yeah. And they said, why, the headline was, why do posh girls love a bad boy? And I'm not a bad boy. But you're called Naughty Boy. No, you know, can understand. Right. But that's the prejudice that comes with being a naughty boy. <laughs> when, but you're not actually naughty. But I'm just saying, sometimes the stigma with just being in, the, say, the urban... I was more in the urban music then, you know? Yeah. It's easy, easy to say that. and It doesn't matter. But really, it, it's not... It doesn't... For me, I don't want yeah. to be presented as a bad boy. Right. Yeah. But, I think they just twist a lot of things. Well, I was going to ask yeah. you that, because in the same way, you're in the only way as Essex. How is it for you being you know, on a reality show whereby people will watch you every week. Tindy, his brother, is literally glued to the screen watching you every week. But, you know, people will talk about and speculate about a lot of the personal stuff that you're going through. It is really hard because on a reality show, like, everything you do, it's not all shown because right. it's all obviously edited as well. So you only get to see, like, say, 45 minutes to twice a week of our lives. But there's a lot more into it, and there's a lot more deeper of how we actually are. But that's where you've got like 35 cast members to compete with, mm. of like who's shown. So, in that sense, it is really difficult. But so you say compete with. So, for example, if your story wasn't as interesting, so they wouldn't follow your storyline that week, for example. No, I just think like because there's such big personalities yeah. in the show, there's always different things going on, and. Like, one minute someone's with another boyfriend yeah. and another girlfriend, and it's just so, like, all over the place. So it's really hard. Unless they had, like, six complete characters to completely show what's going on, mm. sometimes it can be a bit difficult to show so it in that space is, of time. So what is one of the most difficult things that you had to go through in the time of filming at Only Ways Essence, for example, and uh, you've, you've gone abroad and someone said something to you mm. that was not true, it was all made up, and there's speculation, what was the one thing that really upset you that someone's come up to you and said? Um, 
Oh God, I've had so many rivalries on the show. <laughs> <laughs> too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> Actually, I think it's harder being a female on that show. Oh, yeah. it's so hard. Because I watch it. <laughs> yeah. Not good, you know, I, I, I watch it every week. But I, I do also think, like, for, Jazz, for someone like Jasmine or any of the females, I just think it's a bit more... Can I say the word bitchy? Yeah, a bit more catty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they like and to highlight that. No, and I know, I know Jasmine, she's a lovely girl, so you don't... Thanks. It doesn't always present <laughs> the person in the... What Jasmine just said, it's like 45 minutes a week, so... Yeah. You know, and everyone is still also a person, like a human. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people don't know the real me, because... I haven't really showed all of that yet, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You can't just watch it in a 45 minute show, so there's a lot more to me. So what don't they know about you? <clears throat> Tell us now. I mean, like, you know, well. We're talking to you, so you know, there's obviously that you're beautiful, you're, Thank you're you. in a relationship, you can see that on your Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, and you have a lovely family, and uh, you've got an accent that you probably need uh, subtitles to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, is it really that bad? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> well, before we find out what we don't know about you, let's talk about the accent. What yeah. are the words that, let's say, <laughs> Naughty Boy, Sunny and Shay, our audience will not know, and it's very towy. So what are some of the words that you guys, it's very, you know, popular for you to say? I, don't, I think it's just more like, oh, my God, shut up. Like, are you joking? Like, it's that sort of stuff. But, oh, my more... God, shut up. I think the key word is like. Like. Not everything is still like. Like. Yeah, like right? this, like that, yeah, kind of. So it's, it's the mannerisms of how you use the language, the English language? Yeah, it's more like how we just... Like, our response like, that, yeah. <laughs> give us another word, come on, give us another word that we can try and practice. Um... Because shut up ain't gonna work, is it? We always say shut the front door. Shut uh, the, what was that? Shut, shut the, the front, front door. door. Shut the front door. Accent. You're gonna say it with an accent. You've gotta be like, shut the front door. Shut, shut the front shut door. door. <laughs> yeah, you're is that okay? It. Yeah, get it. Yeah. Shut front yeah. door. Uh, you think we're getting to Essex? That's all right, guys. Do you reckon? I think you'll be able to get in the sugar. <laughs> shut the front door. <laughs> shut up. Oh. <laughs> I'm just joking. Don't shut up. Um, but yeah, let's talk about the things people don't know, because <clears throat> we, we did see you on X Factor, and we know that you love singing. I love singing. Are you singing. going to be pursuing um, a singing career, or is it Shall we introduce else? you to Gobi now? <laughs> um, no, I am. I mean, I did the X Factor and it was really good experience. The thing is, when I went on it, I was so nervous because no one knows, like, I've ever done singing. Right. And for me, I thought being on TOWIE, everyone would judge me straight away. Yeah. So I think there was that added bit more pressure. Yeah. Um, but I went on it. I mean, I waited 15 hours to audition, which was like, wow. I know. So it wasn't one of those things that, oh, cheese from a TV show, let's just get to the front. That no, way. exactly. No. Can I just say, shut the front door? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, no, 15 hours I waited. But where you're like watching people rehearse, singing, practicing, it just, in your head you think, oh my God, like it could all go wrong. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, it was a good experience. It didn't go as well as I planned, but I am definitely still going to carry on with it all. Now, one thing you did, when you went on there, you did it acapella. Yeah. You didn't take no guitar player with you, you didn't take any mm. musical support with yourself. You did it just straight off mm. a cappella. I if you could do it differently now, how would you do it differently? Um or I would, would you still go a cappella? No, I'd still go a cappella. I'd probably choose a different song. Right. That's I mean, that is most people's problem sometimes when they're auditioning is making sure you choose the right song. Yeah. And that's really important. And I feel like I should have chosen, chosen a different song. Now, let's talk Bollywood then, because Naughty Boy earlier, was, earlier on was saying, yeah, you used to watch Bollywood films. We all love Bollywood films. A little Betty tells me that you, that you were going to Bollywood. Is this true? I am, I am trying to at the moment, yeah. <laughs> I would love to be it. Like, can you imagine me on screen with Shahrukh Khan? I'd be like, oh my God. No, yeah, we can imagine. <laughs> Are you a fan of Madhuri Dixit or Ashwarya Rai? Yeah. Madhuri, yeah. I, I think Ashwarya Rai because I just think she's so stunning. Yeah. And I just, I really like emotionally connected when she acts with her. I don't right, know. Right now, so this channel uh, promotes British talent, but it also shows songs and Bollywood stars come and speak to British Asia regularly. Mm. So you don't know, some of the directors or producers might be watching this show. So we're going to give you an opportunity now for you to sing the song that you want to sing. And oh, if you no. Were or would you rather, I was going to say, would you rather do a Hindi line for Bollywood? Well, would you, you rather know, sing? I, I think the singing would be because she, she can already sing. Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. And, and she's done it on X Factor. I can't do this. Someone do this. Do you want to sing? Come on. And you've got all these guys who are fans. 
and and and, and, and in your defense that we spoke earlier and you said you didn't get to sing the song you wanted to sing. Thank you. So we need to give you a platform. Come on, guys, give it a round of applause. I've completely forgotten the words, but I wouldn't think you spoke to. See, here's the thing, you got three, you, you haven't got three judges, you've got a whole support. I'm, I'm really nervous right now. Why? We will be having a laugh, but... I, I, someone needs to remind me how John Legend goes. Uh, John Which Legend? song? All of me. All of me. Naughty? Oh. All of, all, of me, all, of all of me, all of me, all of you. What's the first verse of it though? Oh, okay, uh, all of me loves all of you. Yeah, all I your love your curves and curves. imperfections. Because all of me loves all of you. Love your curves and all your edges. All your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me. I give my you, you're my end and my beginning, even when I lose the winning. Woo! I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> we can't even judge it because we, you know, we, I think that's amazing. But what do you think, Norty? Well, that's important. I think X Factor messed up, personally. Aww, Aww. yay! But thank again, you! Uh, <laughs> but then again, it's not about, you shouldn't let... <clears throat> You shouldn't let a TV show make you feel like whether you're good enough or not. I, I just think, Very true. You should you know, never give up. Yeah. Very yeah. true. I'm so glad you did that for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for putting me on the later. spot. Thank you so much. <laughs> you really are. <laughs> We're going to continue talking with Naughty Boy, Yasmin. We've got some more fun games to come. All of that here on Brazier TV. But first, let's take a break. <laughs> 